Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another video. My name is Lufon Tui, and I know it's been a long time since I had dropped a video. So the reason why I've not posted for the past two weeks is because I've been preparing myself, creating a curriculum, trying to see how best to um, create the course that I'm about to tell you about now. From the 26th of this month, I'm going to hosting a four-day class on corsets. It's taken me two weeks to create each of the the the, the four classes that will hold are more than two hours long. So you can be just best believe that I've packed in as much knowledge as possible into each into every um, class. The course is going to cost um, 2,500 naira. But for the first 20 people, the first 20 people would pay 2,000 naira. If you're interested, send me a message on Telegram on this. Um, number that you can see on the screen so do have a lovely day remember we're starting on the 26th is a four day course the first 20 people would pay only 2000 naira so start registering now i'll see you in the next video but first enjoy this video all right you're welcome to this video in this video i'm going to show you how to make the dress that you've seen on the thumbnail so to begin these are the fabrics I'm working with, I bought 3 yards each, um, so that should be enough for the front and for the back. Also for this you're going to need 3 pieces of pattern paper. So here I have my pattern paper, now most times we fold like this when we are cutting, but this time you are going to fold on the longer part of your paper. So on the side that has the most length, alright, you are going to... And then you are going to start drafting. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to keep half inch at the top of the paper and that's going to serve as our sewing allowance, alright? So half inch at the top. Alright, and the next thing we're going to do, you're going to place your neckline width and your neckline depth. So for this, the nice neckline width and depth to use is you're going to use 3.5 for the width, alright, and then for the depth, you are going to use 2.5 for the neckline depth okay and then we're going to make a curve and now the first thing you are going to do is you are going to need to decide how large you want um, each piece to be so you've seen the design there are three panels right so there's from the the one from the neck to here that one stops at 20 then there's the one that goes from here all the way down to um, a bit after the hip that should also be 20 and then the last one all the way down so the the length of the dress is 60 and why i've been saying 20 is because i just divided it into three places 60 divided by 3 should give you 20 so 20 20 20 that's a good place to start gives you an idea on how the rest of them should follow all right so um, yeah, I'm going to mark the length of the first panel, alright, so remember I told you my length is 60, so the first part is 20, I'm going to come up here, I'm going to make a mark at 20 inches, alright, and then I'm going to draw my line across. So now you're asking yourself, it's like, okay, but each panel was not exactly straight. There was a slant on some of them. So how did you achieve that? I'm going to show you what I did now. All right. So the uh, first thing we're going to do after you've gotten the pattern so that you can create the slants that you're supposed to have. After we've gotten the pattern, we're going to open up everything like so. And then you're going to come up to this side over here. And then you're going to decide how much of this you want to have, all right? So on this side here, you are going to come and you are going to place. I need a new tape desperately. <laughs> need a new tape desperately. Mistakenly put my scissors into it recently. Um, yeah. So we are going to take your tape and over here at the edge. I hope you are seeing that at the edge. I'm going to place 11 inches, all right? And then I'm going to roll a line from here. 11 inches from here and I'm going to come out to the edge over here at the 20 over here all right so this is what the first panel this is how we make the first panel the first panel is going to start from here and tip out all the way down all right so let me cut out this part here 
All right, so for the next step, you're going to get another piece of paper. I'm going to place it underneath, like so. And then, I'm going to take this one, place it on top. Make sure that everything is sitting straight, flat, smooth. All right, so when you place it like that, you're going to get your paper tape and tape it down. And then, after you've taped it in place, you're going to use your pen to trace just the bottom part, that's where the top part stops, alright? After you have traced it, you're going to straighten this out. Then, after you have placed the second part on top totally, and you've drawn the line, the next thing you're going to do, you're going to measure whatever you have left. So from here to here, you're going to measure it. So, here I have 16 and a half. You're going to come to this other side here. Okay, so that's over this other end, and you are going to place that 16 and a half. So I've marked the beginning and I've marked the end. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from here all the way down to the end over there. After you're done with that, you are going to cut this end as well. You can go ahead and, and untape the first level. And then, you can go ahead and cut here open. And then, you can go ahead and keep the first part aside. So, the side with the neckline, keep it aside. Draw an arrow so that you don't get this mixed up. Draw an arrow here that says this is the top, alright, so that we know that this should always face the top when you are cutting. So when you're done labeling, you get the third pattern paper. You basically, do the same thing we did um, with the top and the bottom. You are going to align everything, make sure that everything is nice and smooth. When you've done that, you can simply place the paper weight on top. And cut. So when it comes to the bottom half, we are not going to measure it yet. Just simply cut this out and get this shape. Now, being that this is the bottom of the dress, this is going to be the longest part, and this part is not going to have any slants because we need the bottom of the dress to form, you know, a squared off edge. All right. So we don't need this side here to be slanted. And then you're going to label this side as well. So this is the top. Alright, so now the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to place all of them step by step so that I can mark out the dress length. Alright, the paper should be long enough, even if you need to increase the length when you're cutting it on your fabric. Regardless, I will show you what to do to mark out half. So, simply place the first step like so, and then bring the second one, bring the second one, and place it immediately under the first where it should be. Okay, and place a paper weight of some sort on top of it to hold it all together. You bring the last part and place it on top as well. And after that, you will measure from the neckline over here all the way to the end of the dress to get the dress length. All right, let me move you back. Okay, so I hope that you can get a clearer picture now. I've moved you back a bit. Okay, so this is the neckline over here, and then this is the end of the dress down, down here. So we're going to measure from the neckline to the end and see if you've gotten the length of your dress or if you need to increase it on your, um, when you're cutting on your fabric. Alright, so now let me measure it. The dress length I'm looking for is 61 inches, so I'm going to check and see how many I have already. So after measuring, I have 55 inches, alright, that means on the last part here, so on this part here, at the bottom of the last part, at the bottom of the last part, I will need to add plus um, 6 inches, okay, because I have 55 as they are, so at the bottom here, I will need to add 6 inches in order to increase the length of the down part, alright, so let me get to cutting. Or what you can also do, if you don't want the last part to be a lot bigger than the rest of them, you can spread these 6 inches evenly. 
So if you divide 6 inches into 3 places, because we have 1, 2, 3, what you can do is you can increase the bottom here by only 2 on this one. Then you can also increase the bottom here plus 2 and then increase here plus 2, okay? So if you cut this with an extra of 2 inches down here, cut an extra of 2 inches down here and cut this one here with an extra of 2 inches at the down part, you have gotten that 6 inches if you want all of them to be um, uh, a bit evenly sized, okay? I hope that you can hear me clearly. It's raining, it's raining heavily. So let's move on to cutting. We'll start with the top part over here, which is supposed to be pink, all right? And now this dress is the same in the front as it is in the back. So whatever I do for the front side of the dress, best believe that I'm going to repeat that step when it comes to the back, all right? So the first side is the pink, all right? So you're going to simply place it down. Okay, so as you can see, my um, paper is bigger than my, than my uh, lace that I'm working with. But yeah, um, I try to place it as centrally as possible. What you can do is you can measure the end of here and measure the end of here and adjust them until you are the same. Once you make sure that the space you have here and the space you have there are the same, you end up with a very, very evenly placed um, uh, pattern, all right? So like I said, I'm going to give two inches to all the individual parts that we had. So I'm adding an extra two inches here. And when I'm cutting, I'm going to try to cut following the floral pattern that I have so that it has that nice look, that look as, as though they were, there, there was no cuts there, as though the whole thing, the whole fabric came as um, just like that, all right? All right, after you've cut the bottom, the next thing, simply cut out the neckline. Alright, so after cutting the top, next step is to move on to cutting the second side. That's the part that's supposed to be in between. Alright, so on to the next part, which is cutting the second part. So for the second part, remember we have to add 2 inches at the bottom here everywhere. But also, on this part here, we are going to need to add um, 1 inch at the top of here. Okay, so we are cutting, but the 1 inch will not uh, bother ourselves. Uh, with um, carving it or doing anything like that, we will just cut it straight. The reason why we are cutting with that extra one inch is so that this part here would sit underneath the top one easily. I would show you, but cut the top part here where this arrow is pointing top, cut it with an extra one inch sharp. Don't bother with carving that part. Then at the bottom, you go ahead and carve it because this one will sit on top of the one that will be at the bottom. So, yeah, make sure to do that. Alright, so now this is the last part. So this is the bottom end of the um, the dress, alright? So this is going to be the easiest part to cut. Since this edge here is straight, you don't have to think too much about it. Just keep an extra 2 inches because if you remember, we've been adding 2, two, we've been adding two inches to every uh, piece that we cut. So for the bottom part here, you simply look for where the 2 inches starts from and then you're going to cut from there all the way down. For the top part here, you just simply keep one inch like we did before from here all the way up all right so that's what we're doing all right so i've cut this onto the next step let me place everything together so that you can see how everything um how we would um, stitch everything together one by one so i'm going to get the first two pieces that i cut Okay, so now you've seen I've made the effort of placing my pink on top of over the black. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pin this down as much as I can. So use your pin, secure down the black and the pink together. And after that, I'll head back to my sewing machine, put the same color of thread. So pink thread on top, black thread underneath. And I'll stitch from here all the way down, holding it in place. But first, I'm going to pin it.
All right, so with this, I have stitched on the top parts. The next thing is to simply repeat the same thing at the bottom. All right, so I'm going to simply move here up like so. Look for, and then I'm going to simply place the black on top of the pink now. Okay, simply place the black on top of the pink and stitch from here all the way down. All right, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to simply stitch from here all the way down all right so just the same thing we did on the other side we are going to repeat on top of here so after i do this i'm going to be back so that we progress to the next step all right so i have done the same thing on the bottom part i have stitched across all right so now for the um other side that's the back side now mind you this dress is you can wear it anyway there's no wrong or right way there's no front or back sorry so i'm going to repeat this step on another piece of um on another i'm going to repeat this step on um, I'll recreate what I have done here again and then I'll meet you on the sewing machine so that we can join um, the shoulders together and finish off the neckline neatly alright alright so I have repeated the same thing this is the back that is here what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place the front on the back and I will join them at the shoulder but I won't start from the beginning of the shoulder because of the little design that we need to make there I will start 7 inches before the shoulder stitch onto the shoulder lock it and then do the same thing on the other side so we need a space of seven inches around and we need some space down here so that the thing splits in two at the end of the sleeve all right so all right so the next step i'm going to use my cotton bias to finish the neckline neatly all right All right, so now for the rough edge, you see this edge here, I'm going to finish it off with my bias as well so that it's not so rough. All right, I'll do that on all four sides. But as for this side here, where I seem to have cut the edge of the petal neatly, I might not bother. But on this side and on the other side, I'm going to finish the edge using cotton bias. All right. All right, so now when we're done stitching the neckline and the um, top parts of the shoulder, the next thing we're going to do is I need you to measure across the body, okay? All right, and when you've gotten it, I have 45, so you're going to bend 45 in two, you're dividing 45 in two, and that should give you 22.5, all right? And you're going to make a mark at that 22.5, that should give you where the middle of your um, dress is so now what, what we just did was we just found the center of our dress next thing you are going to do on this center line you are going to place a measurement now that measurement is your hip measurement okay you are going to divide your hip measurement by two so the hip i'm working with is 41 41 divided um, by two is um 20.5 all right 41 divided by two is 20.5 so you're going to take 20 and a half, all right? You're going to add two inches to it for ease. So that's 22.5, all right? I hope you are following me, all right? So 22.5, you're going to divide 22.5 in half, okay? And you're going to place it in the center. And you're going to make a mark at the beginning of the 22.5 and at the end of the 22.5. All right, and when you have done this, next thing we are going to do is I'm going to head over to my sewing machine. Now you see in this point here, this 22.5 here, I'm going to give a space of 
11 inches away from the top so after 11 inches i will start to stitch on this other side that's the end of the 22.5 from here all the way down and i'll stitch from here the beginning of the 22.5 all the way down once i do that i am done that's the end of the dress that's just to lock the sides is a butterfly dress so that would be very very um, easy to do once i stitch the both ends i'm done if you watch this far thank you for watching please don't forget if you're interested in the corset course to hit me up all right no problem i will see you in the next video uh, have a lovely day bye bye